UFC lightweight contender Diego Ferreira. What's going on, Diego? How's life right now? Uh, doing great, doing great. You know, stay, stay sharp, stay training. You know, um, I really want to get this fight coming up for me. You know, call him out uh, the high ranks. But um, you know, excited for this the fi finish this year. You know, <laughs> I can't say. You started my year, but I finished this year strong. Let's talk about the, the call out. You know, you respectfully called out Paul Felder. He's number five uh -huh. ranked. What is it about him that uh, interests you the most? Uh, oh, it's more like a, I, I, I need a fight, you know. Uh, the point is, sorry, my, my son right here. All right. Oh, okay, go, go play with the toys. Sorry. Uh, it's not a. Uh, as much about like uh, trying to get a fight, you know, it's it's more like I, I, I need to be, stay busy, you know. I was supposed to fight in May, um, you know, after all the, the, the corona, you know, uh, and kind of everything backing up for me. And, 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 and then uh, uh, I got a little bit disappointed not, not having a fight in May, you know, but I have a couple, a couple of things I have to get done. And and my my opponent got a fight, you know, and you know I just get I, I really want to get another fight, you know, just stay busy. I, I really want to, you know, it's not even about so much climb the rank or anything. It's just more, you know, I, I want to stay. I want to stay busy. My career is gonna be real short, you know. I know I'm 35 years old, and I'm planning to to take this uh, like as much as I can, you know. I try to be on an uh, on, on on that stage as much as I can and that's what I, I'm planning now and I have a family too I have to you know uh, I have to supply for that and I have to uh, put a foot in the table and and that's what I want to and it's good to always have a good opening like uh, uh, Paul Felder you know uh, he's, he's ranking number six and and to have a fight with that guy it's gonna be great you know have they offered it to him have you talked to your manager about it and have they talked to the UFC yeah, I talked to my manager. Um, he say it is, it's gonna be possible to do it depend on hand if he really wanted to fight. I know he fought uh, uh, like few weeks after I fought, you know, and I know he's been like you know uh, busy on a, a commentator uh, commentating the the fights, but I don't know if he's already back to train or anything. But uh, uh, I asked my manager. He say yeah, it's gonna be possible. He's, if you're not gonna be hands, it's gonna be Dober. You know, and I told my manager, I don't care who's who, who's gonna be. Just give me a fight. I wanna, you know, I wanna get this momentum going on on my life. And I'm training. I'm, I never stop training after all all this. It's always training home with my my family and, and my kids. And you know, it, it's just try kicking at the momentum. You know, try really getting the ball the ball rolling and see what what are we gonna bring in uh, at the end of this year. So are you looking to get back in July or August? What is the, the timeline for you? July or August for me is going to be perfect. You know, um, I, I, I'm right now, uh, I'm trying not picking so much on my training, but I'm still consistent in my training. I'm training every day, uh, having my days off, try to take, taking care of my body as much as I can. And, you know, uh, I, I just, I just like the way I say, I, I, I need, stay busy you know because it's not easy for a fighter and, and like me uh stay focused like for the whole year you know we we have things to do and, and I, I like to stay focused on my career but i, I need something on the front of me to to stay focused you know like hey we have this this and this already planned out Let, let's make it the focus and, and and let's let's make the run not many guys are calling you out though you know like in it, it's kind of awkward it's kind of weird because you're in this position where s there should be guys calling you out and, and to fight you you know i know that alex hernandez called you out but he just lost so there's no point in really fighting him right yeah i, I always want to fight him you know if he beat dober because mm -hmm. dober was i was supposed to fight dober you know but things happened in my uh, uh, on, uh, on my family and i couldn't make it but uh uh, I will. I don't like him. I, I used to like, but after he lost, I really lost the, you know, the motivation. You know, he, he that type of guy speaks too much. But you know, not, I'm not gonna go through that. Uh, but I was willing to fight him. Like I really want to fight him. 
you know, just because he talked too much, it's going to be fired up the fight. And, you know, I never fought like, I, I fought a couple of times like that with like, get, I want to get that guy. And, but, uh, you know, I don't have too many people calling me out. I don't know why, but I, I'm accepting any, like, you know, anybody, you know, wanted to fight and, you know, just give me some time to study the game, keep my game on, you know, to make strategy because then I'm going to go in a fight and I have no strategy. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, you know, I'll be great, you know, like to have a, like, a, you know, somebody to call me out and make it interested too. Yeah, yeah. It's always better when someone calls you out that you don't have to yeah. worry about it, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true because if you make it interesting, that's going to be much better, you know. you make yeah. you really, you know, uh, uh, call out, you know. It, mm -hmm. It's going to be good. But I, I'm doing my job. I want to call people out. I wanna, I'm want to. i not being disrespectful, but, uh, you know, I don't think I need it. I just, I know a lot of people want to see that. You know, I want to see I'm fighting. I'm the type of fighter, like, you know. I'm I'm going to the fight, you know. I'm going to really to fight. I'm not going to hold back or to you know to try to win by decision. I'm really looking for the finish. I'm always looking for for a submission or a knockout, and that's that that's not the type of fight I am. And I, I want to take this uh, this moment in my life, and you know, it'll be good. Dana White or uh, uh, Nick Namer, Nick Nick, get me a call, and I'm like, hey, I'll fight for you. Let's. Let's do this. You know, some Shelby, you know, that'll be all great. Some other names that I noticed uh, around Paul Felder, you know, ahead of you would be like Charles Oliveira, Kevin Lee. Do those names also interest you? Yeah, I, I, I'm down to anyone, you know. Kevin Lee is another one. He's not going to want to fight right now, you know. Uh, he came from a loss, you know. Uh, Oliveira, you know, he, he really didn't want to fight like, Connor, you know, get yeah, another fight, like bigger fights, and I don't, I don't take measure on the guy. The guy been for a long time on the UFC and been fighting like the top, the top fighters. But I really, I really don't, don't, don't care. I just want to fight. I get him, getting this momentum, uh, shine this momentum up, you know, and see, see what we can, we can have. But I, I, I just want to, I just want to fight, you know. I want to get a good fight, you know, and see if one day I can be a. Uh, on the main event or, you know, the cool, on, cool main event, that would be good. You, you deserve a, a main event, at least on on a fight night. You're, you're, you're number 10 in the rankings, you know. Like, th what else do you have to do to get that? You just beat Pettis. You stopped Pettis. You submitted Pettis. He's never been submitted before. What else do you have to do to get a main event? I don't know. I, I think I have to talk, I have to talk in... Yeah, I have to start talking shit. Like, I have to start talking shit. That doesn't look like... Because people don't really don't don't want to fight. I, I I'm I'm thinking like I like a fighter. You know, I'm now really looking for the bell, looking for like to be higher in the rank. I just want to fight. I, I I just want to be there and put a show for the, the those people really paying the perfect view or paying like you know to watch the fight. Uh, I want to put a good show. You know, I'm in like very really entertaining guy. I want to put it like uh, the best show that people have never seen before and. And that's what I think. But, uh, you know, I hope one day I can get on the main event, you know, be like, I'll be fired up, like, real, yeah, real bad. And I'll be excited. I gotta be excited. You versus Paul Felder, that could be a main event. You versus Charles Oliveira, that's a main event. Pretty much anything that will line up with someone ahead of you is a main event. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. So for you, you want to come back July, August. You said you're training. Um, are you in? Are you at the point where you're like training every day, and and so when they do give you a contract, you could just hop into camp right away? Yeah, I'm. I'm. Yeah, I'm. Right now, I'm not in a really camp, but you know, I'm. I'm really active because my my uh, have us some um, fighters, you know, Victor Martinez, like Stephen Perry, Luke Flores, a bunch of guys like helping me out and make me excited to be training every day. My coach is always pushing me, like, hey, watch out your way, keep keep an eye on me, and. And those things, it's exciting for me because it's making me motivated too, you know. Like, I see the young guys, like, really, like, going after me. And I, I cannot <laughs> I cannot step up, uh, step out of the plate because if not, the guys really got to go hard. And that, that's what motivates me. And and if I got a call too, you know, like, it's 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 something can really happen. And I, I want to be, like, ready to jump in straight to, to a fight camp, like, hard, you know, like, and... It's good to be in my body too, you know. 
my body have to be like really in, in a in a good condition because I don't want to feel like anything hurt through 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 the camp, you know. But I, I'm trying my my best to to watch out for those things and you know stay on the, stay sharp is always better. Are you planning on uh, heading to Fortis MMA anytime soon? Yeah, I'm planning. I, I was because I have a business down South Texas, you know, and far my own gym where I have my students. And right now, like getting out of this quarantine, it, it's been a little hard, you know. And I'm trying focus a little bit, you know. Not that's my in my career, but on my gym too, you know. It, it it's been slow for everyone. I know that, you know. But for me, I I really push myself, you know, pushing my, like to put more students to to get more, you know. Um, my old students getting back onto the to the mat, getting back in a, you know, on train, you know, and trying to help and people to be ready for a fight. And I, I'm a coach, and I, I'm planning to build this first, and then and planning to go as soon as I can. If I have a fight, that's normally what I do. But I sometimes I really go just random times going to for uh, just to to have uh, some training or help my my teammates over there to be waiting for a fight, especially the, the, the new, you know, and uh, uh, the, those guys lighters, you know, to 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 be waiting for a fight. And, you know, I hope I can go as soon as I can so I can really have a good camp over there. It's always good to be there. It's, it's fun for me because I feel like every day is <laughs> a fight over there. You know, <laughs> that's what I like. It. The wedding. Did you have a wedding yet, or are you waiting until you fight first? What's gonna go? What's happening with that? I know that's very important for you and your family. Yeah, well, it was really important because uh, we are planning to. We'll marry already, but we're gonna go through the church, and uh, we'll have all those plan those plans. You know, that's why I was uh, postponing on on uh, on our marriage. You know, on the fight, sorry, on the fight, but uh, um, it don't happen. You know, we we gonna. We supposed to have like the week before we supposed to like you know uh, to get married because we we put another date, but uh, Corona uh, the the quarantine got us like now this we cannot be the church told us we cannot be uh, doing more than ten people inside the church, and we cancel everything like I was putting the putting the money on the our. On the, the on the salon, you know, the the big place uh, we're supposed to yeah. get married, but uh, we don't. Kind of just left the money, you know, like we couldn't make it. But it was one thing like really affect me because I was into to do this for my wife and make her happy, you know, you know, happy wife, happy life. And, but uh, <laughs> her a little bit sad, you know, like uh, oh, because we've been planning like this the last ten years, you know, mm-hmm. and. And uh, uh, don't happen, and she got a little bit sad. I got sad too, but you know things happen for a reason. But uh, uh, I tell her like, and after that we focus a little bit on the house too. We're all building the house, and, and you know that's sort of like uh, we got a little bit uh, more focus on the house and you know training on my train. Those, those two things only I, I could do it, you know, train it and be be inspecting my my house at how they're gonna be building and you know but like the way i say things happen for a reason and mm-hmm. and oh i was happy the way uh, uh, everything not happy happy but you know i couldn't do anything but you know we still move on definitely definitely well hopefully uh everything gets figured out and then you could have your wedding and and everything you know you don't have to worry about that stuff anymore right well you know diego thank you so much for the time man Hopefully you do get a fight signed up and you get lined up for July or August. Maybe even uh Victor, your your boy Victor I, Martinez could get signed. You guys could fight on the same card. You know that would be that perfect, would, right? Yeah, I've been I've been looking on a on a, uh, on a program from the UFC. They're gonna mm-hmm. have something in, in Texas. I, I'm really hope we get those 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 uh, uh those guys on the card, especially me and him. You know, and we see you now. Nothing's possible, nothing impossible. It's possible to, to, to get on a card. <laughs>